Volcanoes are one of the most fascinating and powerful forces of nature. They can have a huge impact on the environment and the world around them. From towering ash clouds to rivers of lava, volcanoes can be both beautiful and terrifying. In this video, we're going to explore some incredible facts about volcanoes that you may not know about. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the explosive world of volcanoes. Volcanoes are such powerful and extraordinary geological features that have always fascinated us. They can form on land or under the seas. In fact, almost 80% of the Earth's volcanic eruptions occur underwater. Submarine volcanoes are formed when molten lava erupts in the depths of the ocean, creating new land masses. These volcanoes are significant because they play a part in shaping the ocean floor and igniting life underwater. On the other hand, land volcanoes form around plate boundaries in the Earth's crust. You may have heard of the Ring of Fire, which is a vast region that circles the Pacific Ocean, where many of the world's most active volcanoes are located. Shield volcanoes like Mauna Loa, the largest volcano on Earth, are formed over hot spots in the middle of the ocean. While stratovolcanoes are formed when a subduction zone occurs, like the many volcanoes in the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. Volcanoes vary in size from small cones or small hills to entire mountains. Some are inactive and dormant, while some are constantly erupting, posing a significant threat to nearby communities. Shield volcanoes are a type of volcano that is broad, flat, and gently sloping. They are called, shield, volcanoes because they resemble a warrior's shield laid on the ground. Shield volcanoes, like Mauna Loa in Hawaii, are formed over hot spots in the middle of the ocean. These hot spots are areas of the Earth's mantle where magma rises up and creates volcanoes. As the magma erupts, it spreads out and flows easily because it has low viscosity. As a result, the lava can travel great distances and create wide, gentle slopes, which give shield volcanoes their characteristic shape. Mauna Loa is the largest volcano on Earth, and it's also one of the most active shield volcanoes. It last erupted in 1984 and has erupted 33 times since its first well-documented eruption in 1843. Despite the frequent eruptions, Mauna Loa is not considered a dangerous volcano because its lava flows move slowly downhill, giving people time to evacuate if necessary. The largest volcano in the solar system is Olympus Mons, located on Mars. It is one of the most dominant features on the Martian landscape and is three times taller than Mount Everest. Olympus Mons is an enormous shield volcano, similar in shape to Hawaii's Mauna Loa, but on a much grander scale. It covers an area roughly equivalent to the size of the state of Arizona and reaches a height of 16 miles, 25 kilometers. That's almost triple the height of Mount Everest, which stands at 5.5 miles, 8.8 .8 kilometers. Olympus Mons is so large because it was created by a volcanic hot spot that stayed in one place for millions of years. Unlike Earth's tectonic plates, which move over millions of years, the Martian hot spot remained stationary, and the volcano continued to erupt in the same spot, building up layer after layer of lava. The last explosion happened around 25 million years ago, much longer than any recorded volcanic eruption on Earth. When a volcano erupts, it spews out molten lava that's made up of hot, liquid rock from inside the Earth. This lava can flow for miles and has the ability to cover everything in its path, including houses, roads, and other things that come in its way. But when lava cools, it solidifies to become a type of rock called igneous. Over time, this igneous rock builds up, and can form new land over the course of hundreds and thousands of years. In fact, Hawaii is a great example of land created through volcanic eruptions. The islands were formed through a series of eruptions that began around 6 million years ago. As lava from the eruptions flowed and cooled, it gradually built up into huge piles of rock known as, shield volcanoes. Over time, the weight of each pile caused it to sink lower into the ocean, creating a depression in the seafloor. But as the volcanoes continued to erupt, new layers of rock built up, and eventually, islands were formed. Today, Hawaii is a chain of eight major islands and many smaller ones, all created through volcanic activity. 
Tropical islands look like paradise with their white sandy beaches, swaying palm trees, and crystal clear waters. But beneath the surface, they can be dangerous. Many tropical islands are located near active volcanic zones, just like Hawaii. As we know, volcanoes can erupt at any time, and when they do, they can make life on the island dangerous and uncomfortable. Lava flows from the eruptions can destroy everything in their path, including homes, roads, and vehicles. But the most dangerous outcome of an eruption is volcanic ash. Volcanic ash is a mixture of tiny particles and glass that can cause respiratory problems and other health concerns. It can also contaminate water sources and disrupt transportation. Moreover, tropical islands are frequently affected by hurricanes and typhoons, which can be extremely dangerous. Torrential rains, storm surges, and high winds can cause significant damage to infrastructure and leave people stranded without food, water or electricity, making it hard to survive in the aftermath. So even though they might look like paradise, tropical islands can be both beautiful and deadly. Hawaii is a prime example of the incredible power and resilience of our planet's geology. The islands were formed through a series of volcanic eruptions that began around 6 million years ago. Over time, the eruptions built up layers of igneous rock, which eventually rose above the ocean's surface. This process continued, forming shield volcanoes and creating new islands, until the eight major islands that make up Hawaii were created. But that's not the end of the story. Hawaii's volcanoes are still active today, and they continue to reshape the islands. In fact, the newest island in the chain, called Loihi, is still forming on the seafloor, and scientists predict that it will eventually rise above the ocean surface to become a new volcanic island. Despite the fact that Hawaii is still being formed, it is still home to millions of people and an abundant ecosystem. The power of volcanoes to create and destroy reminds us that our planet is constantly changing and evolving, and that we're all at the mercy of the forces beneath our feet. Volcanoes are natural openings in the Earth's surface that emit molten rocks, gases, and ash. They form when magma, which is the molten rock beneath the Earth's surface, rises to the surface. When this magma reaches the surface, it erupts and forms a volcanic cone. The magma is often accompanied by gases and other volcanic materials like ash and cinders. Volcanoes are typically found near the boundaries of tectonic plates. These are the gigantic pieces of Earth's crust that fit together like a puzzle. The Pacific Ring of Fire, the region around the Pacific Ocean that is known for its seismic activity, is where many of the Earth's volcanoes are found. Volcanoes can also form far from plate boundaries where magma travels through the Earth's mantle, creating a hot spot, which is a stationary location where magma rises to the surface. There are three main types of volcanoes, shield volcanoes, cinder cone volcanoes, and composite volcanoes. Shield volcanoes, like those found in Hawaii, have gentle slopes and generally produce less explosive, less viscous lava flows. Cinder cone volcanoes, like those found in Arizona, are small and have very steep slopes. They are typically composed of loose volcanic fragments and cinders. Composite volcanoes, also known as stratovolcanoes, are the most explosive and dangerous of the three. They have steep, symmetrical slopes and produce thick viscous lava that makes it difficult for gases to escape, which leads to explosive eruptions. Now that we have an idea of what volcanoes are and how they form, let's take a closer look at why they are explosive. Volcanoes are explosive because of the type of magma they contain. There are two main types of magma, mafique and felsic. Mafique magma is low in silica and contains more iron and magnesium, making it less viscous and therefore less explosive. Felsic magma, on the other hand, is high in silica and contains more aluminum, potassium, and sodium. This makes it very viscous and explosive. When felsic magma rises to the surface, it often gets trapped in the volcano's vent or conduit, which is the narrow channel connecting the magma chamber and the surface. As more magma is added to the chamber, the pressure increases, causing the magma to become more explosive. The gases dissolved in the magma, like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, also contribute to the explosive nature of the eruption. When the pressure becomes too great, 
the magma and gases escape violently, causing an eruption. The frequency and severity of a volcanic eruption can depend on many factors, including the type of volcano, the amount and type of magma being produced, and the tectonic setting. For example, shield volcanoes, which have low viscosity magma, typically have relatively gentle and non-explosive eruptions, whereas composite volcanoes, which have high viscosity magma, can have explosive eruptions that can be very dangerous. The volcanic history of an area can also provide clues about the potential explosiveness of an eruption. Volcanoes that have had explosive eruptions in the past are more likely to have them in the future. Now that we understand why volcanoes are explosive, let's move on to discuss the different types of volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions are classified based on their explosiveness, the type of material they eject, and their frequency. There are several different types of volcanic eruptions. 1. Hawaiian eruptions. These are typically non-explosive and occur when mafic magma flows out of the volcano's vents or fissures. The lava is thin and runny, allowing it to travel long distances before solidifying. 2. Strombolian eruptions. These eruptions are characterized by small explosions that happen every few minutes. They occur when gas bubbles from the magma burst at the volcano's surface, ejecting cinders and ash. 3. Vulcanian eruptions. These eruptions are more explosive than Strombolian eruptions and involve thick, viscous magma. They often produce ash clouds that can travel long distances and be dangerous to people and wildlife. 4. Plinian eruptions. These are the most explosive and dangerous type of eruption. They involve highly viscous magma that is rich in gas content. The eruption column generated by these eruptions can reach up to 50 kilometers in height and can cause global cooling due to the ash and gases injected into the stratosphere. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991 is an example of a Plinian eruption. 5. Phreatic eruptions. These eruptions occur when ground or surface water comes into contact with hot rock or magma, causing the water to flash into steam. The steam then interacts with the magma, causing an explosion that can send ash, rock fragments, and steam high into the air. Volcanic eruptions can also have a significant impact on the environment and human populations. They can cause widespread destruction, threaten health and safety, and even impact the global climate. However, improved monitoring and warning systems have helped us better prepare for and respond to volcanic eruptions. Now that we've explored the different types of volcanic eruptions, Let's review what we've learned about volcanoes. Volcanoes are incredible natural phenomena that remind us of the immense power of the Earth. Whether they are creating new land or devastating everything in their path, volcanoes are always awe-inspiring. It's fascinating to learn about how they work and the impact they have on our planet. We hope you enjoyed learning about these five explosive facts about volcanoes. If you know any other interesting facts about volcanoes, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.